guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a beauty haul. Just got back, bought me a bunch of stuff, and I'm going to sit down and uh, show you what I got. So if you're interested in this video and seeing what I picked up, then let's just get right into it. Yeah, so over the past couple of weeks, a lot of things have been happening. My family, my grandmother um, had decided to sell our house. She was selling her house, so I was helping out um, sell items in the house for a couple of weeks. And uh, I had family here, and I just didn't have the time to go buy any makeup. So I told my husband that I wanted to go to Sephora, and we actually ended up going to Sephora, Ulta, Target, and Walmart. So I picked up a bunch of stuff that I'd show you guys. So I have everything out just on my table right here, all dispensed everywhere. I will tell you where everything was purchased at, um, and we'll just go from there. The first product I picked up was this Bobbi Bound Face Base from Sephora. Um, this has been talked about a lot, a lot, a lot. It is enriched with vitamins. I think it's vitamin C and E, and it does have a very um, heavy citrusy scent, but I thought I would try it out. This was a whopping $60, so I hope. I hope it does great things for my skin. But I picked it up because it's been talk it's been raved about and I wanted to know if it was as good as they said it was. So I will be testing this out and I will keep you guys updated. Another product I picked up from Sephora, I got myself another Dr. Jart face mask. Um, and this is all that contours and this is my favorite face mask of all time. It's not slimy or wet or anything. It's actually quite dry. It's a gel mask and you it ha comes in two pieces, one lower piece and one upper piece and you tie it around your ears and it stays in place. And I love it. It just feels like it's firming and hydrating and tightening everything up. And I love this. I love taking one of these with me on the plane when I travel. I love using it. Try not to let any Anybody see me because they probably freak out but I, I love these I think these are great great and Dr. Jart has the best face masks so I need to pick myself another one up pick up another one of those um so from Ulta I picked up a few things I bought the Derma E firming DMAE moisturizer and it has alpha lipoic acid and sea ester and then I got the Derma E scar gel with pentanol and Alan Allentoin. So they had a deal on at Ulta, buy one, get one 40% off. And I had intentionally gone into Ulta just for the Derma E Scar Gel. Roxette Arisa has been raving about this and how it's great. And I have a lot of uh, acne spots and sunspots and stuff like that that I wanted to see. And I have some scarring on my face and I wanted to see if this would help. So I've, I have these now and I'm going to be using them on a consistent basis. This I can use two to three times a day, the Scar Gel just on the scars um, and on the spots. And then this is the firming moisturizer. I think I'm going to be using this at night, putting it all over my face and neck. So pick these two up. Another thing that I got from Ulta was the Benefit Boeing Brightening Concealer. And this is in um, the shade two. And this, I guess, used to be called the Erase Paste. And now it's called the Boeing Brightening Concealer. And this Emily Noel raves about love. She's been using it for years. She was using it when it was called the Erase Paste and she has great things to say about it and canceling out um, under eye darkness. And so I wanted to give this a shot. So I picked it up and hopefully it'll do good things for me. <laughs> Another thing that I picked up from Ulta, Soap and Glory Pillow Plump Sexy Mother Pucker. And this is just the clear gloss and gives you XXL volume in your lips. So I'm looking forward to trying this. I wanna test this out. And the last thing that I got from Ulta, and I'm wearing them right now because I couldn't help myself, are the Ardell Magnetic Accents. And um, took me 20 minutes to get them on. I have a video coming up. I have a video um, where I show you how I'm putting these on and I have a video where I show you how I'm putting these on and you will see exactly how long it took me and how difficult they are to put on and I don't even know if they look good but I'm like I have them on I'm not taking them off just yet so let me know in the comments if I look like a fool but I'm not taking them off yet uh, I think that's all that I got from Ulta. Moving over to Target, I picked up this Olay Daily Facial. 
um, their daily facials and their five in one cleansing makeup remover, scrub, toner, mask, and cleanser. Nikki Tutorials was raving about these um, in one of her latest videos. She was also, well, she was sponsored by them, so I don't know. But they looked, the idea of them looked really, really fabulous, which is why I decided to go pick them up. They are actually just dry cloths, which is great for travel because I do travel. And they're just dry cloths. And what you do is you run them under some water just a little bit. And then you just go like this in your hand and they lather up and make a foam. And they're supposed to be very cleansing um, and very toning and exfoliating. So when I travel, I think I'll take a bunch of these with me and I don't have to worry about them drying out. I can just stick a few of them in a Ziploc bag and they'll be great and they're dry, no liquids and yeah. Just run them under some water, give myself a nice little clean and then add some moisturizer. Sounds great. So yeah, happy about that. And um, I also picked up the CoverGirl Peacock Flare Mascara in Waterproof, and this is the black one. Now, I am kind of nervous about this because the day I picked it up, I was watching a video by uh, Tati Westbrook, and she mentioned how she did not like this at all. Like, it really missed the mark for her, and so I'm kind of nervous about that. But I decided, hey, I bought it. I'm going to try it out. No harm, no foul. Makeup is very different for everyone. Maybe it'll work out for me. One more product I picked up was the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir Foundation. So many people rave about how great this is. I picked it up in the shade Classic Ivory because it looked like it would match me. I have no idea. I guess we'll see. Oof, Classic Ivory. That'll be kind of light, I feel. I don't know. I guess we'll see. If it's too light, I guess I'll go back and buy another one. It's a little bit darker. But I wanted to try this out. It's supposed to, it has um, SPF 20 in it and it's enriched with vitamins and it's oil free. So I decided to give it a shot. Now from, we did Target now from Walmart. And this is the most exciting. So I watch Raw Beauty Christy and I love her. I think she's fantastic. And she's always using this sponge, this flower beauty sponge. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I want to get that sponge. And I went to different locations where they have targets. I went to, I mean, where they have Flower Beauty. I went to a bunch of Walmarts looking for it and they didn't have this. And then on a whim, I decided to go to, to Walmart today and they had one, just one. And I ran, like I bolted across the aisle when I saw it and I snatched it up and I like held on to it for dear life because I'm like, I want to test this sponge out. And now I have it, I'm excited about that. Um, also from Flower Beauty, I picked up Flower Pots Powder Blush, and this is in the shade Powder Blush, Soft Satin Finish, I think this. I don't know what shade it is, man, why don't they just put it like in big bold letters, oh here, Sweet Pea, I picked up the shade Sweet Pea, <laughs> it's up here in the corner. I also picked up this um, matte lipstick in the shade Autumn Rose. I believe Tati was also saying how great these flower beauty lipsticks are, so I needed to try one. And so I picked one up. Now, I also picked up this liner by L'Oreal. This is the Infallible Pro Last Waterproof Liner. It says up to 24 hour wear, and this is in the shade 980 Nude Beige. And I purchased it to put into my waterline just to open up the eyes a little bit. I had a Smashbox one I think it's Smashbox lights camera I want to say lights camera action or something like that I used to love it and it emptied so I thought I would try something a little bit more affordable hopefully this will be great and this is matte it doesn't have any shimmer in it so I'm excited about this because the Silk Kiss Me one that I have has shimmer in it and it irritates my eyes after a long time so I'm really curious about this one now the remaining items that I have are from Milani. I finally picked up a Milani flower blush and this is in the shade Coral Cove number five. And come to think about it, I wonder if my sister has this exact one. I think she has more of a peachy, uh, a, a pinky one, but I'm gonna have to check before I open it because she lives with me so we swap makeup all the time. And there's no point in having two of the same. All right, next I picked up some lip liners and I picked up the shade 09 Spice and the shade 02 True Red. I just figured these, I think the most important two colored um, lip pencils ever 
are is a nude one and a red one. A red one can go great with bright reds or dark reds, which are very, very popular, and nudes go great with everything else. Nudes, pinks, you know, bright pops of color. I think these are always, always two great, great shades to have on hand. Now, besides that Flower Beauty sponge, the stars of the show are these right here. I had been to multiple places that sell Milani looking for these babies and I couldn't find them. I couldn't find them and I was afraid that I was going to have to buy them on the website and I really just didn't want to do that. I'm not a fan of buying makeup from websites unless it's Ulta.com or Sephora.com because then I, if anything happens I can just walk into the store and return them or exchange them or do something. But places where they're only online, they're only online retailers, it gives me anxiety. Like this is my hard earned cash, man, and it makes me nervous. So when I saw these in Walmart, I was so excited. And on the Milani website, these are $20 a piece. I believe $19.99, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure. I gotta, I gotta check, but I'm quite sure. But in stores, these were a little under 15 bucks a piece, and I was so happy. So I opened them, and I was just, like, admiring, because I knew, I knew I wanted the, this one, the Bold Obsessions. Look at that, it's so stunning. And Kathleen Lights was raving about these over and over, and I'm like, oh, that's so pretty. I really want these. And look at that. Isn't that just gorgeous? Oh, my goodness. Warms. Cools. Neutrals. Pops of color, these are beautiful. This is a beautiful palette. And I love, because I always get the names wrong, I love that on the back, they've given you the names and they've put the picture of the shades. So there, it's goof proof, and I'm a goof. So this is so great, because I can just be like, oh, you see that gold? This is Gold Getter, even though the name kind of gives it away. But, you know, still like, oh, you see the shade right here? It's blazing hot. Like, I'm not going to get confused because I have done that in previous videos where I've read them backwards. Anyways, so I knew I wanted that. But then I took a look at this. And this is the Most Loved Mattes palette. I hope they come out with more palettes. And I opened this and I was like, these still my beating heart. Warms, cools, neutrals. This is beautiful. And look at this giant mirror. Look at it. It is, it's huge. And they didn't even worry about putting in one of those dumb applicators that nobody uses. This, this is a great size palette. And for the price, I mean, look at this. This is sturdy. It's beautiful. Like this, you could find this at Ulta for like 50 bucks. Like this is a nice, this is a nice sturdy palette. Great for Milani. Great for me. I am so excited to try this out. So that is what I picked up on my little shopping spree. Yep. My pockets are feeling kind of empty right now, but I am super excited to try out all of these new products. Really, really excited. Drugstore is really killing it right now. Really killing it. They're coming out with some tremendous stuff. And it's so exciting. Anyways. Thank you so much for sticking around. Let me know if you enjoyed my haul, if you'll be hauling all of any of these products. And also let me know if there are any of these products that you want to see a full demo on, whether it be, you know, a makeup tutorial or a wear test or something of the sort. I think I will definitely be putting together a few tutorials with the Milani palettes. Just really easy, you know, beginner's look um, tutorials where you can use the palette a variety of ways and why it's such a tremendous palette because that Old Obsessions palette by Milani. I feel like you can create like an insane amount of looks. And yeah, I'm excited about that. Oh, it's so good. I hope they come out with like a a nice a nice like summer one that has really beautiful pops of color. It's kind of like on par with the whole Huda Beauty palettes, the Obsession. Is that what they're called? Obsession palettes? Do I sense something? Yeah. Um, I think they're called the Obsession palettes. But, uh, yeah, so I think they should, Milani should try to come up with something bright for the summertime. That'll be fun. That'll be fun. All right. Well, thanks so much for sticking around. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope you're having a great day wherever you are. Give this video a thumbs up if you like hauls where I spend all of my money on makeup. Because that's usually where all my money goes. After my bills comes the makeup. Yeah.
<laughs> and yeah, subscribe to my channel. It is free. I do not bite. I enjoy it when you guys watch my videos and when you guys like reach out to me or leave me comments. It's really cool. All right. So I believe I've taken enough of your time. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good day. Bye.